Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over installing the WebStorm IDE. Up front, I'm not the biggest fan of WebStorm. Not that it isn't a good IDE, but because it is excellent. It is a little bit too much. It's overkill for a beginner. And I tried a long time to install it on Fedora, and it took me a long, long time to actually get it right. And that was really frustrating. Many people, if you're just starting, you might just give up. Okay, that's not what we want because get through the the hump of actually learning, get through that, and it'll be much easier afterwards. But we got to get everybody to that point. Okay. Um, plus, it is not free software, so it is you know you have to purchase a license. Not a huge cost. Um, I like the idea of freedom though. At the same time, that's why I'm using Fedora. So the problem with that, unfortunately, is all other free software, Sublime, um, Atom, they're even less beginner friendly. Um, there is an Eclipse plugin, and that was it doesn't work very well. So I tried to get that to work. Really, really tried. I just couldn't do it. All right. So maybe in the future, but for now, we'll just go with WebStorm. Okay. So. I'm going to start from the very beginning. One of the dependencies for WebStorm is going to be, I'm going to do this on Fedora. I'll make mention of how to do it on Ubuntu-based um, uh, operating systems as well. So we have to install Java or OpenJDK. All right. So to do that on Fedora, you'd go sudo dnf install Java. Open J, JDK. Okay, so this is how it reads on Fedora. Um, for Ubuntu based systems, it would be, um, and I'll leave it in, um, written down below in the comment section, it would be apt-get install openjdk-7 jre or dash 8. So this is Java 1.8.0 dash openjdk. And we'll install that while that's installing. Shouldn't take too long. We'll go here and go to both www.dartlang.org. Okay. And then we're going to get Dart Linux because this is Fedora. Okay. Install Dart SDK. We're going to go install this manually. I think it's actually easier, believe it or not, to install it. Download the Dart SDK, 64-bit, and then download Dartium as well. I've already done this, okay, so, and I will show you I did it on the download section. Right, Dart, Dart, Dartium, Dart SDK. Here's WebStorm. Okay, let's go to WebStorm. Uh, WebStorm, let's Yahoo it or Google it, whatever. Download WebStorm Smartest JavaScript IDE. Takes you to this um, page, jetbrains.com. WebStorm, download it now. And it'll let you download it. Download it, same location. Okay. In the background, we could see this is um, Java is being installed. While we're doing that, let's go ahead. Okay, so that is complete. Let's close that up. Dartium, let's go ahead and extract that. So you open it, extract it with usually ARC, open with ARC. I think it's default. It is default in almost every GNU Linux version. By the way, if you're using something like um, Gen 2 or ARC um, Linux or something like that, I don't know how to install it, but you're way ahead of me. You'll, you'll probably know how to install this better than I do, okay? Um, extract this. Let's just uh, extract this to the very base. And let's call it right here. I'm just going to say call this Dart. You could put it wherever you want to, okay? So it'll be home. So I'm going to extract this to home Richard Dart. Okay. Okay. While that's going, I have to do the Dart SDK also. Home, Richard, Dart, extract that as well, and then WebStorm. Let's go with that also. 
home Richard Dart. By the way, um, in case you didn't notice, I am using KDE. Um, that's my favorite desktop, so it's probably not difficult to use GNOME or any other type of desktop on top of it. So this is just the general idea. Download all three of these features, parts, go to the Dart right here, open up WebStorm. Under bin, so WebStorm bin, the binary to run is webstorm.sh. You can actually, I'm going to grab this, bring it over here, and it's going to create, oh, wait a minute. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to create an icon here. So it's just a shortcut. So I know how to click on it. Okay. So I click on that. I'm going to wait a little bit, and it says complete installation. I don't have complete. You can import your settings from a previous version. Don't have that. This is a fresh install. I do not have a previous product, so I'll keep moving on from there. Okay. Let's evaluate it free for 30 days. If you want to buy it, it's probably worth it. But again, we're just learning. We're just um, starting out right here. Read the terms. I read this already word for word. Okay. And, and I agree begrudgingly. Let's open this up. I'm going to keep these all default. Okay. You, just the themes, the behaviors on how you actually use the keys. So let's just do it default for right now. It's going to create a launcher script. I don't think this takes too long to do. While that's actually waiting for Ubuntu, I'm, I'm sorry, for GNU Linux, what we will have to do is one other feature. All right. So right here, we, we are going to have to type in sudo ln s. Again, you can copy and paste this from down below lib 64 udev.so.1 user lib 64 dot so dot zero okay because it depends upon a library, lit library udev.so.0, and all this does is it creates a, what we call a sim link. So basically, we really want to use so.1, so it creates a sim link, a link that says anytime you look for so.0, which is what WebStorm is, which is, I'm sorry, what um, um, the Dart SDK is going to do, it'll instead take us to so.1. All right, so that's what we want to do. It's going to be a little bit different from um, Ubuntu, and down below I'll have the um, uh, what exactly it's going to be. It's going to be similar to it, but we do have to change the names a little bit. So this is still creating a launcher script. It's a big launcher script. It's requiring authentication. That's probably why. I thought it was just a huge script. Okay, that failed. Hope I didn't forget. Okay, my password. Here we go. Let's go create new project. Hit Dart. Dart SDK path. Where was it? Remember? Richard? Dart. Got to click through. Dart SDK. Just click on that. Okay. Then Dartium. Okay. Let's just click on that. Dart. Dartium. Lucid64. It, this may be, depending on when you're looking at this video, it's from a year from now, it's probably going to be different. Click on either Chrome or Chrome Wrapper. Either one actually works. And then let's generate sample content. And let's say uber simple at the very bottom, web application, absolute bare bones web app. And let's create. Hopefully this works. And here we go. And from now on, I'm going to be using videos in this. Um, so we can run this. We can either run it in Chrome. I don't think I have Chrome installed. Yeah, don't have Chrome installed, so it's not going to work. I have um, um, Firefox. I can click on that and run the 
program. Um, the problem with that is if you use Firefox, the system has to compile the code into JavaScript and then actually run it. And so it's going to take a little bit of while to actually do that. And if you think about when you're developing a, an application, every single time it's going to take this long, right? You're going to have to keep doing it every and test it out time and time again. That gets a little bit annoying, doesn't it? Um, personally, I think so. So here we go. So now it runs up. So this is, remember, this is in VirtualBox, so it's going to be slow. I'm not sure how much memory I gave it, but maybe I need to give it more. It had to compile, and then it actually runs quite slow. Other option, of course, we could use, all you have to do is click into this area, and these will come up. Dartium. We could try Dartium and, and see what the startup for that is. Much faster. Okay, so it goes directly. So remember, Dartium has the VM, the virtual machine, installed in this browser, so you do not need to compile from Dart to JavaScript and display it here. All right, so that's, so from now on, we'll be using Dartium. How do we make sure it's default? Well, we can go to Edit Configurations. Dartium is uh, basically the um, default. So anytime, if you want to just hit Run right here, it should run it in Dartium. It's going to say Chromium, but it's actually Dartium, okay, because that's the way we set up. Okay, so I, I hope that was clear just to install. We'll go over it in the future. Actually, we can go over a few things. Um, I, I think I do want to make sure that this thing is having bigger fonts. So I'm going to make this like 20, the fonts themselves, so it's easier for you to see at home. Um, that doesn't actually change appearance menus, system settings, file color, scopes, how about the editor code color fonts and style okay let's make a new scheme um let's call it richard and i'm gonna say the font i'm gonna say that's size 20 because i'm kind of getting old and this is harder for me to read so it'll be easier for you okay finally this is, does not have much to do with actually the Dart itself, but where is the console, right? Is So if we go into here, uh, sorry. I'll go into more of this detail. Actually, why don't we just go into it right now? Untitled, because I didn't give it a name. Web, here are the packages. Here is the pubspec.yaml. Remember, that's what you use for um, the pub package manager. So it's similar to the um, Dart editor. Under the web, there's index. This is the web page. HTML, doc type HTML. Open and close head. Open and close body. So this is, these are child elements. This is a child element to the body, okay? Because it's an element. Main we see right inside here, and if I say in main print hi, let's go ahead and run it. It's supposed to have run. Where is it? Look for it in Firefox as well. It will be, actually, I'll do it right now, in fact. I'm not going to assume anything. Go here. More tools. So this, uh, I don't know what that's called. Menu bar thing. More tools. Go under developer tools. And the console is, where is it? Console, right there. Print high right there. Okay, reload. Print high. And if you change this to high, there. It'll be high there. Okay. So that's key. Um, also notice that I can hide there. Everyone. I could simply just save this. I guess I have to actually run it. I was I was thinking, save as, 
save all I'm just gonna say hello everyone I couldn't find this at first just put at save all okay and all you have to do is hit refresh whoops let's go go back go back here refresh hello everyone so you don't actually need to hit run every single time you could just hit refresh because as long as you save all again right inside of there it will save it and refreshing the browser will help it run okay with Firefox let's do this under Firefox so index we're just gonna do it this one time it's right there the icon you see it right there hit Firefox we have to wait a little bit it's gonna run up here okay where's the console menu bar um, developer um, web console right there so it says hello everyone and then if you change it around a little bit um, hi there or let's just go classical hello world save all or run it remember and I'm just gonna do a oh wait a minute wait a minute um, I'm sorry you need to recompile it so it doesn't work for what what okay so you need to compile this sorry you need to compile it to JavaScript so you cannot just for Firefox do a refresh only with Dartium I don't know what I was thinking right there hang on a second so let's do it again in Firefox you actually do need to hit run every single time a little annoying but that's the advantages again of using Dartium so de developer web console and it'll say hello world right there okay so as opposed to down here where it was with um, the dart editor it's right here in the browser all right so I hope that was helpful for installing this now we'll get to actually learning and making web applications in the future now that we have the IDE installed thank you